Hey guys, Mandy here with tips to help you live your happiest, healthiest, and most harmonious life. On today's episode, I'm going to be telling you how to win at dating. So my number one tip for dating for y'all is to just be yourself. Now that's not to say that you don't want to put your best foot forward, but there's a difference between doing that and actually putting on a fake persona. If you genuinely are trying to get to know someone, then you want to make sure that they're getting to know the real you. If you plan to be with this person for a long time, they're going to find out what you're actually like in the long run, so you might as well show them that side of yourself to begin with. Um, I know sometimes people get a little bit um, insecure about showing you know, necessarily their true colors, but I think there's a way to let people know what you're like without, um, you know, in the very beginning revealing everything, which is actually something you want to avoid. You don't want to bombard a new person who you're just trying to get to know with, uh, you know, crazy things about yourself. But again, I think if you're trying to get to know someone, you really want to come across as your best version of yourself, but in a very truthful way. My second tip for dating or winning at dating is to take things slow. And the reason being is that any time in my life when I've rushed into anything, it usually doesn't turn out as well as when I take my time. So you wanna take your time getting to know someone and I've come up with actually a slow method which stands for stop, listen, observe, and wait. And so each of these I will explain. So to begin, the stop. I think it's really important when you're getting to know someone to stop and just be present. When you want to let someone know more about yourself or you really like someone, sometimes it's really easy to get ahead of yourself and start thinking about the future and analyzing everything that they're doing or saying to you. But it's really important to just stay in the present moment of just getting to know that new person and not getting too far ahead of yourself. The L, which stands for listen, is to really tune in to how you're feeling about that person. When you're starting to get to know someone again, it's all these rush of emotions and sometimes you can let those take over, but I think you need to be honest with yourself, you need to be true to what you're feeling inside and sometimes people show you red flags and you try to ignore them or you you know try to make excuses but if this is someone that you're genuinely wanting to be with over a long period of time you need to be real now the o is for observe observe is watch people's actions i'm such a firm believer that it's not what people say it's what people do listen to people's actions so if you're getting to know a new person in the dating world and they're showing you sides of themselves that you're not really happy with or their actions aren't matching up with what they're saying, you gotta be real with yourself. They're not gonna change into something, you know, some fake fantasy that you have. They're showing you their true colors right off the bat. It's up to you whether you're going to, to be with that person and accept those things, or you're gonna figure out that that's not someone that you really wanna be with and you end things. And lastly, in the slow method, is to wait. Again, I think that there's nothing wrong with taking your time, whether it's sexually, intellectually, emotionally, or physically in some other way, spiritually, whatever the case may be, I think it's really important to wait and take your time getting to know that person. That's going to help you in the long run to determine if this is someone that you want to potentially spend your life with or maybe they're not. And again, it's about being real and just taking it slow. My final dating tip for y'all is to get a life. And I don't mean to say that rudely, I literally mean don't stop doing everything you're doing and make this person the center of your world. The last thing you want to come across as is needy. For myself, I am very adamant about my career and having my focus be that and my family and friends mean a lot to me and there are certain days when I just wonder if I would have time for a relationship but you know it's important for me to realize that and I think you know what's what you can take away from this advice 
is that it's important to keep focused on the things that already matter to you. When you make the other person your entire being in any relationship and it's all about we, 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 and you kind of forget about all the other stuff you have that's amazing in your life, what happens is that person gets all of your attention and sometimes y'all get bored with each other. Um, you know, you need to maintain your own individuality while you're getting to know someone and not coming across as bombarding them with, oh my gosh, you're my everything. Because then there, most people are going to react probably negatively to that kind of energy. And it's just important to maintain your individuality so you have other things going on. I think the best relationships are when two individuals have really worked on themselves, are feeling whole, and they have a lot of cool things going on in both of their lives, and they can come together and just share that space together. They don't need to be together, they want to be together. As always, like anything in life, it's just important to have a positive attitude and to enjoy getting to know this new person in your life. I hope today's video helped y'all, and if it did, please click like below. If you think that it could help someone else, then please share it. And if you'd like to see more upcoming inspirational and motivational videos from me, then please subscribe to my channel. I hope to see y'all again soon, and keep shining.